Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing you God's truth. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this day, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you for your word that is coming to our spirits. We receive it with thanksgiving. And understanding from you fills our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Man, praise God. Now, today is Friday. So, you know what? You know why, why I always celebrate Fridays? Because it's the time for you to reflect on everything we have talked about the whole week. So, there's no broadcast coming tomorrow. There's no broadcast coming on Sunday till Monday. So, take this time. Go through them again and again. They are all available on YouTube. Praise God. So, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go subscribe. Go subscribe. So when the messages come, now there was a period, there was a period, I had a challenge, uh, you know, sending you the broadcast every day. But they were all available on YouTube. You, you know, just, just go on YouTube and, and you see if you want the broadcast. You know, so, you know there, there, are, there are some people, I get these reports, there are some people who use this morning, this these uh, messages as their devotion in the morning. Families, they do that. I get those reports. And I pray, I pray that the Lord bless you. See, because you're, you're helping me take the word further. God bless you. Some of you even give. You know, I don't ask for money. <laughs> Praise God. But then it's, it's amazing. It's amazing how, how I receive messages that, oh, I was so blessed. Please, I, I want, and, and some, you know, so I receive. <sighs> God bless you. See, when those things happen, see, when you obey God concerning us, you know, people, there are people who send their tithes. We, we've never asked anybody to bring their tithes. We've never done that. But, but we, we receive calls. The Lord said, I should send my tithe. Now, now, if someone says the Lord says he should send his tithe to me, how can I say no when I know the truth concerning tithe? It will be wrong for me to now teach that, oh, send your tithes to me. It will be wrong. But I teach you every time, ask the Holy Spirit where he should send you, where he should send your tithe to. So when we receive such calls, you know what, you know what it does to us? Oh, thank you, Lord. He's thinking of us. The same way he's thinking of you. Because he sends us, to, he commands us to send our tithes elsewhere. Also, to different people. And we know he's thinking of them. You know, one time the Lord commanded us to send our tithe to, to, to someone. And we sent the tithe. And then, now this, this person didn't know us. Ooh, my wife and I were just praying. And the Lord said, hey, send your tithe to Susan so person. Oh, okay. So we looked out for the person and we found the place. And then we, we got there. And, and then the person was like, thank you so much. And the person began to list all the troubles and the troubles and the troubles. And then I said, hey, 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 hold on. Do you know me before? I said, no. How did I come here? I said, the Lord sent you. Okay. Shouldn't that tell you something? All these needs that you have, just the same way the Lord sent me to you, he is going to send every other person that needs to be a partaker of this, your ministry. Praise God. That's just, stop complaining. That's what the Bible says. When we give spiritually, see, we are sowing life everlasting. Praise God. Because you are restoring hope and joy and gladness. So we are making someone remember that God is with me. Praise God. It's sweet. Praise God. So, so, so this thing, you, you take your offerings, you take your tithes before the Lord. How, how did I get here? Oh, I was appreciating, you know. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, just, I'm just filled with gratitude for everything you do. Some of you share these messages in your groups. Some of you share them. You, help, you just share them on Facebook. You sh Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you, we, we call you partners. And every day I pray for you. I do that every day. Because you're helping us greatly. Thank you. God bless you. Praise God. All right. So, I, we, 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 we are in chapter 11. And we are in verse 27. Yeah. 
He said, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the blood and body of the body and blood of the Lord. If you eat it unworthily. Now, what does it mean to eat it unworthily? You know, you know, people have given different interpretations to this. So if you if you have seen lately. And you come and eat the body, eat the, the communion. You are eating unto yourself damnation. You are looking for trouble. So, so someone says, ah, I know. When is communion service? I'm not going. No. Why are you not going? Eh, hmm. I don't want God to catch me. I don't. No, no, no. That's not what he's talking about. What he's saying is, listen. Examine yourself. No, that's what he said. The next verse says, verse 28. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself not discerning the lord's body see now you are eating communion you don't even understand what you're doing you need to understand what you're doing what are you doing when we eat that bread together see now you can eat it as a family maybe husband and wife you can eat it as a family with your children. You can eat it as a family, extended family. You can eat it as a household, you know, if you have your household. Now, listen. What does it mean that you eat it unworthily? This thing we are eating is a covenant that we are entering, not just with the Lord, but with one another. With one another. Because we are now one. See, what we are, when we eat that bread, we are saying... We are one body with the Lord Jesus Christ. So when I give you that bread to it, I'm giving you my body. I'm giving you my body to eat. I'm giving you my blood to drink. The same way you're eating the body of Jesus and the blood, drinking the blood of Jesus, you are also, we are also eating of one another. So which kind of thing is this? Is it a ritual? Yes, it is. It is. Is it a cult? It is. <laughs> holy, holy. Uh, you know Paul says we are, we are part of the brotherhood. He says love the brotherhood. <laughs> you know when people hear brothers, ah, ah, please, please, all those terms. Come on now. Come on now. Praise God. We are, we are in love with one another. And we stand up for one another. Praise God. So when we eat it, we are eating our blood. We are eating our body. So what does that mean? I will never do anything against you. That's what it means. Sister, brother is misbehaving around you. You don't understand what he's thinking. Get him. Brother, we're brothers, right? We believe in Jesus Christ, right? Can we break bread? You know, you know what this signifies? That you will never do anything to hurt me. And I will never do anything to hurt you. If we do that, see, we are offending the body of Christ. And, and look at what he said next. He says, for this cause many are weak and sickly among you. And many sleep. That means many die. You offend me after we've eaten or drank the body of Jesus together, you are looking for trouble for yourself. I'm not saying this to threaten you. I'm saying this that you comport yourself in the truth. So that's why I say, let a man examine himself. This bread I'm about to break. Is there any intent in my heart to hurt this person? <laughs> uh, you know, people, are, people in relationship, I don't understand. I, I always advise them, break bread together. You know, you know, you say any anytime you meet people should pray and hey, have breaking of bread in your prayer. Every meeting you have, you go out to eat something, you go to a restaurant to eat, you after all the good talks and sweet talks and, and eating well and all that, make sure there is that part where you say, Can we just eat the body of Jesus and drink his blood? And he says, Let's examine our hearts. That even in this relationship, business partners, you're going into business with a fellow believer, you've got to break bread. Break bread, concern. That you see, we, we are doing this to remember that Jesus died for us. See, he took our iniquities, he, he carried our sorrows. So I don't need to cheat you. Why? Why should I cheat you? Jesus 
will supply my needs. That's why he died. So why should I cheat you? So we remember. See, just in case somebody is forgetting, before you sign the documents, can we break bread together over this? That our hearts are honest before the Lord. And that's an opportunity. Look, if your heart is not honest, it's just better you opt out now. Because when we eat this bread and drink this cup, anything you do against me, you're doing against Christ. And what's going to happen? Sickness, weakness, death. See, is that true? Oh, yeah. You know, we don't know the power of these things. That's why we treat it anyhow. Let's finish this up. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. See that now? But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. So the moment you, you, you begin to fall sick, listen, as a believer, you're not supposed to be sick. You are not supposed to be sick. Believe me. You are not supposed to be sick. You are not supposed to die. Now, when you find yourself in sickness, the first point of call is to examine your heart. Have I handled the body of Christ right? Have I murmured against another believer? Have I done something wrong to a believer? That's where the Holy Spirit comes in. He will bring all things to your remembrance. That's not what Jesus said. So, so if you've done something wrong, He will bring it to your remembrance. Say, hey, you need to repent from this. So, what do you do with moments you should? Don't argue. Say, Lord, I repent. I repent. I've been wrong. I repent, Lord. And the moment you repent, hear me, he takes away that sickness from you. Because he stands there now as your defense. See, the word of God has everything in it for self-help. If you know how to apply it. Number one, you're not supposed to be sick. See? So you judge yourself first of all before you start running to the doctor. Oh, doctor, I need help. Judge yourself first. The moment you notice something is not working the way it's supposed to work, don't start running help us get a pause and judge yourself first. Have I, have I gotten out of line somewhere? Holy Spirit, I need your help. I know this thing is supposed to work right. So what's going on here? I need your help, Holy Spirit. Tell me. Because remember, you're with me. You will never leave me nor forsake me. He will tell you. He will show you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It says, but when we judge, when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Be patient. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest I will set in order when I come. Praise God. Listen. Remember Paul was writing to his brethren. As I told you from the beginning, what is good for them, it is good for you also. See, read these things and let wisdom come to you. And learn from them so the Lord will help you. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless, Lord, everyone watching and listening right now. I pray they will be established in your truth and in your wisdom. In whatever way they require help from heaven right now. Dear Lord, I, I release angelic visitation to them now. Let angels help them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, send your word to them. Let their ears be open to hear. And let them be delivered by your truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray this weekend will be the best weekend they've ever experienced. Doors of opportunities are open unto you. God is showing himself faithful to you. And he's doing something to your life that you are going to really like. Praise God. By Monday, you will have a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Thank you very much for keeping time with us this whole week. 
I'll see you again on Monday. Have the best weekend ever. Bye-bye.